In this comparison video, I'll show you how to import account data into Microsoft MapPoint. Now make sure after you've watched this video to watch the alignments video on your right to see how the two compare. So let's begin. To start, click on Data and click Import Data Wizard. Now you select the file that you'd like to import. I'll select this one. And in this file, I actually have it split into four separate worksheets, each one representing a different account type. In MapPoint, you actually have to do this import process once for every account type. In AlignMix, in the next video, you'll see that you can do it all at once. So let's start with the A accounts. Click Next. Now you select the data you want imported. I want the account name, the address, the city, state, zip code, and I'll still let it import the segment under Other Data. So when we click Finish, you'll see that start working. Here on the left side of the pop-up, you'll see the number of fields increase. So that's the, basically the number of data fields that are being sucked in to map point. And on the right side of that, you'll see the number not mapped increasing. And that's because some of those addresses may not exist in this version of map point because it is released in 2013, so it might be pretty outdated. Now you'll see that there's two records that come up where MapPoint doesn't really know where to map them. And that's because Microsoft MapPoint 2013 is pretty out of date. So these addresses may not even exist. So for now, we'll just click skip all records and move on to the next step. So now I want these accounts to be displayed as push pins. So let me just make this an A and I'll make it into a red push pin and I click finish. And just like that, you can see the location of every single A account on this map point map. So now let's do this again for all the other accounts that we have. So data, import data wizard. I'll select that same one, click open. Now I want the B accounts. Next, same thing for this, click next and finish. So will this process go through just like it did in A? Once again, you'll notice that there's a bunch of accounts here that can't be located. And that's because the Microsoft data here is way out of date. So let's skip all records. Let's click OK. And now we want to do the same thing. We want to select the pushpin icons. And let's change the icon to a yellow. And we'll make this B like that. And let's click Finish. So now we see B and A accounts are displayed just like that. So let's do this again for the C accounts. Same process, select the C. All of these data fields should match up. Let's click Finish. Once again, we'll let the status bar go through.
Now that that's finished, we get another pop-up saying there's two records that can't be found. We'll skip that just like we have for the other ones. Once again, we're going to do a pushpin icon for these C accounts. So let's rename it C accounts. And we'll make those into a green pushpin. And let's click finish. And now we should have three types of accounts listed on our screen. So here on the right side, you see the three types of pushpins that represent the three types of account segments. So now let's do this one final time to get our final segment in. Data, import data wizard, select that same account file, click open. Now we do the D accounts. All of this is correct, click finish, and we let this go through one last time. And one last time, just click skip all records because it can't find those two addresses. Once again, we'll also pick a different color push pin. Let's go with just a silver white circle. We'll name it D. Click finish. And just like that, we have imported four different customer segment types here into Microsoft MapPoint. And you can see that was a long process. It actually took quite some time. So now, take some time to watch the video on the right, and you can see how to do the same process in AlignMix.